everyone and welcome back to Toki Toy Theory, where we took a look at toys from various Tokusatsu series and try to figure out why they look and act the way they do. In this episode, I'll be covering Kamen Rider Drive type speed by looking at the form, its associated shift cards, and their respective tires. So, let's begin. To start, we'll look at this type's transformation shift card, Shift Speed. Now, while we already looked at this in the previous episode to get an idea for shift cards in general, this time we'll look at it as an individual shift card. So right off the bat, you can see that shift speed is a metallic red shift car that is stylized like a sports car. And see it has a very slick and aerodynamic form with a pair of racing stripes that go uh, all along the middle, as well as a spoiler in the back. It has some simple headlights at the front, as well as a dynamic looking front bumper. When flipped around, you get the lever mode, which features drive symbol. And of course we can use it in the drive driver to activate the transformation into type speed. And here we have Kamen Rider Drive Type Speed. Now once again we'll be looking at this form as an individual form rather than as a general idea for Drive itself. So starting off with the head, you can see that the details from Shift Speed are copied well onto the helmet, but with the racing stripes going down the middle, the pointed front end, as well as the spoiler in the back. You can see that the form is very sleek and streamlined with a lot of sharp angles to it. It also has continuous racing stripes down the side to continue the pattern from the shift car as well as the tire being draped diagonally across the ship, the chest. The tire itself is a basic tire with some pretty standard treads. Though the tire could also be seen as perhaps being analogous to something like a racing sash for the winner of a race. But otherwise, a lot of the details here are ones that we've already taken a look at at the basic look over or first look at Drive itself. But you can definitely tell that this form definitely does give off the sense of speed that is meant to be conveyed here. Next we'll take a look at Type Speed 6 associated tire Cocon shift cards, starting with Shift Max Flare. So uh, Max Flare is one of three shift cards that I like to call concept shift cards, as they more are meant to convey the concept of tire Cocon than to be representative of actual cars. As you can see, Max Flare is a clear orange shift car that appears to be covered in or made of flames. It's got a very sleek design to it, and you can really see the flames sculpted throughout. You can also see that it has its symbol tampographed on the front bumper or the front hood with a tire tread design going the down the middle. If you flip it around to lever mode, you can see uh, this tire symbol up in the window box here. This equips Drive with the Max Flare tire, changing him into Type Speed Flare. So as you can see, the Max Flare tire is orange and has six flares drying out of it, making it look similar to a stylized sun. This tire gives him flame powers, or rather allows him to amplify his punches and kicks with flames. 
Next we have the second concept shift car, Shift Funky Spike. This is a clear green shift car that is entirely covered in spikes, giving an appearance similar to that of a cactus. You can see it has a more jagged window shape to it, as well as a different design for the headlights. You can see it really is covered in spikes all over. Though for the sake of the toy version, these are dulled so as to not be uh, harmful. And you can see its design of a spike ball here on the center. Or rather, the front hood. And that same symbol is seen in the lever mode. This equips drive with the funky spike tire, changing him into type speed spike. So for this one, it's a green tire with spikes going all around it, and this one is used a lot more in close quarters combat, as it's mostly used to grind against the opponents, though the spikes can also be extended to deal out larger ranges of damage. Next we have the third of the three concept shift cards, Shift Midnight Shadow. This one is clear purple, as meant to aesthetically be reminiscent of a ninja. And you can see that by the kind of mesh design, as well as the more narrowed look to the windshield and the headlights. You can also see its symbol of a four-point shuriken on the front. And of course, that symbol is also seen in the lever mode. This equips Drive with the Midnight Shadow tire, changing him into Type Speed Shadow. This tire is purple and has the design of a four-point shuriken, as well as shuriken designs engraved between the different points. And this tire gives Drive ninja-like abilities, allowing him to duplicate himself, as well as throw energy shuriken. Next we have Shift Justice Hunter, and here's where we start diverting from the first three in that here's where we start getting into shift cards based on real vehicles. Starting with Justice Hunter who is based on a Japanese style police cruiser. You can see that it's clear black and white with a siren on top and the word police ran across the hood. And here's another thing where it starts diverting and where we get into what the rest of the shift cards are in that the trait of having that shift card symbol on the front hood only really applies to the three concept shift cars. And you can see they went into detail to show the uh, kind of caged and reinforced windows that a police car would have, as well as the armored front bumper. From thinking around, you can see its symbol, which is a police badge. This equips Drive with the Justice Hunter tire and changes him into Type Speed Hunter. So this tire is red and has steel bars wrapping all around it. And this is the first tire to equip him with a new weapon, in this case, the Justice Cage, which is this cage bar-like grate, which has multiple purposes. It can be used to, or as a bashing weapon, as a shield, or it can be thrown and then form a shield around, or rather form a cage around the opponent, and these attributes can be uh, attributed to a policeman 
catching criminals and putting them behind bars. Next we have Shift Dream Vegas. This is a clear white shift car that is a Las Vegas style limousine. You can see the uh, very ornate and fancy look to it. It also has various elements that make it reminiscent of a Las Vegas casino, such as the triple sevens on the front that look like a slot machine reel or slot machine reels, different sized golden poker chips on the side, and a knob similar to a slot machine lever on the back. When flipped around, you can see its symbol, which is the image of a poker chip. This equips drive with the Dream Vegas tire, changing him into Type Speed Vegas. This is another tire that equips him with a weapon, in this case, these two shields called Drum Shields, which as you can see resemble a pair of poker chips. As for the tire itself, it has very similar looks on it, similar to a slot machine's reel. The Drum Shields can also be equipped alongside the uh, Dream Vegas tire to create three slot machine reels. And these can rotate, and depending on the results, it changes the effects of the attack, similar to the different prizes, or different amounts won or lost when using an actual slot machine. And finally, we have Shift Dimension Cab. This is a clear yellow shift car based on a taxi cab. And this is a very classic taxi cab design, as you can see by the black checkered pattern going both along the sides and the front. You can also see that it has the word taxi written on both sides of the hood. And even has a little signal on the front, which in a real taxi would indicate whether or not the taxi is in use. When flipped around, the symbol is the word taxi as well as the checkered pattern on the top and bottom. This equips drive with the Dimension Cab tire, changing him into Tight Speed Cab. And this is a yellow tire with a bunch of black squares going along it, similar to what the checkered pattern on a taxi cab would look like if you kind of squished it all together. At the same time, also giving the look of tire treads. This tire has an interesting ability in that it allows a dimensional portal to be created between the two halves of the tire to where it can transport the upper right half of drives body to another location to be used for a double-sided attack. And this is somewhat reminiscent of a taxi cab's purpose of transporting you from one place to another. And there we go. So, by looking at type speed, we can get a good idea of what to expect from the other types. Starting off with the, with the fact that the type itself is more meant to act as a base body for the tire cocons as it does kind of represent one attribute of a certain type of car, but also is meant to kind of convey a by type for its tire coke on shift cars. In case of tight speed, it conveys kind of a compact car or a streamlined sleek car design. And that is indicated by how all of the tire coke on shift cars share the same by type as shift speed. And as for those, they're interesting in that, for the first three, they really do seem to be the prototypes of the Tower Coke on shift cars, as they're more abstract concepts, not based on real vehicles, but more meant to convey the concept of Tower Coke on equipping drive with tires that give him new powers. As for the other three, they're based on real vehicles, 
and help kind of convey the concept for the rest of the shift cards in that the tires they equip are representative of either that vehicle's purpose or something related to the vehicle's purpose. And one thing to note is that while these uh, shift cards are associated with type speed, the tire coke on shift cards can be used by any type. But this does help give off a kind of starting point and a base for what to expect from the other types. So, next time I'll be reviewing the Level Up Rider series, Maximum Gamer and Muteki Gamer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.